Hey guys, and welcome to more learning command blocks with Vetrol. In this video, we're gonna learn more command blocks. Um, such a good boy. You might want to sit down because they're gonna fly up here. So let's expand this guy. Perfect. Yeah. So now, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you how to use a slash fill command. The slash fill command is really useful, and we're also gonna show you how to use the slash clone command. These commands are really useful for a person that doesn't know how to, for a person that doesn't know how to make, um, how, how to like, use like, world edit in their single player world. This is basically the exact same thing. So anyways, let's look at this block over here. Type in slash fill space tab space tab space tab. Now that's only just to get that block that's right beneath you, and you must be looking at it. Then hit control A, and then control C. Remove the text, go to the other block, and type in the, well, look at the block, and then hit control V, and then space, tab, space, tab, space, tab, space. Now put in um, any block, for example, stone. And we have filled a stone area. Now, what another thing we can do is we can actually use a clone command. So instead of slash fill in these spots, we're going to use slash clone. Now uh, basically, you use use slash clone as the same thing as slash fill, except you need to have another selection. So after the second, um, after the second X Y Z space tab space tab space tab again, and you copy it. This is how I basically use the mirror that I made with clone commands. And yeah, that's how you use those commands. So yeah. Now, if you want to summon in really, really good blocks, here's how to. Do slash set block. Oh, I might have shown you this in the last video. I don't know, but set block here, here, here. Well, it tilt us. And double underscore stone underscore slab. I have shown you this in a different video, but by doing this, you can get this entirely best block ever. This is actually by far my favorite block inside Minecraft, because if you actually just take a snow slab and you double it, it looks like this. But if you give it the tag 8 with a set block command, it will actually have, it will actually look like this. Now the reason why is because hit F3 and look at the first double snow slab that you put down. Underneath Minecraft called double underscore stone underscore slab, it says seamless false. So it does not have a seam. But if you go to this one over here, it has seamless true. Yes. Also, if you didn't know, check this out. You can actually place log blocks down, and you can basically make it put it down without a white spot. As you can see, say like you're building a house door or something, and you have to build it like this. And it's just like way too um, weird for you. And you just don't want to do it. Well, instead of just acting like that, try this command. Bam. So that way, your houses can look much better. And there also are more hidden blocks, but they're not going to be showed inside this video. 
And also, you can place more logs down. Like, 13. This is spruce wood. This is birch. This is jungle. And this is not anything. We enter 11, it's, it's not what I need. But yeah, the only thing that did basically show up there was like Acacia and Dark Oak. Because 12, 13, 14, 15. Nope, nope. Because these would be 16 and 17, but they cannot fit. So you can't basically set those planks down. I mean, those logs down. So yeah, no Acacia, no Dark Oak. If that's fine with you. And I think there was like a piston thing or something, but that might have been in the other update. The reason why I'm saying that is because you can like, in the other update, you can do more commands such as a pumpkin that's faceless, but they got rid of that. Now, actually, I'm gonna show you something cool. I'm actually gonna go exit exit out of this world and go to the version 1.7.9. If we go to the version 1.7.9, this happens. Where's 1.7.9? Okay, here it is. Save profile and play. Now, we're in the version 1.7.9. Go to your single player world again. Now we have to give ourselves the faceless pumpkin. So we do slash give virtual pumpkin. Um, two, uh, one, and three. What? Let me just look at the slash give oh. command. Amount, data, and data tag. So give me a w amount of pumpkins. Uh, you know, what? it'll just use a set block. So I set block here, here, here. Pumpkin. Do. Nah, hold on. Fifteen. Oh. Fifteen is faceless, right? Yeah. Okay. Fifteen is faceless. So I keep on doing these commands and watch the magic. If you keep doing it over and over and then place ladders on it and then go to it back into 1.8.9 the ladders will be on side on no blocks this might be annoying however since this world was low says yet to unload the world load it back up in 1.7.9 then go back into 1.8 but anyways let's get a ladder perfect now if we save and quit the title, quit the game, and then set our version back to the release of 1.8.9. Then hit save profile and hit play. Now just wait. Now if we go back into our single player world, hit commands, look at this. We have ladders floating on no blocks. You can't climb for the backside though. It would be cool if you could though. This would be really useful for maps if you could climb behind it. Anyways, that's all for this time. See you guys next time. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. See you guys next time. Bye!